Ivysaur! Ivysaur is the evolution of a Bulbasaur, and is the second Pokemon according to the National Dex. Its appearance is very similar to that of Bulbasaur, except you can see a clear pink bud has bloomed on its back with some green fronds supporting the bud. Ivysaur looks very similar to Bulbasaur, but there are some differences other than the bud. The ears have opened up revealing black insides of it. It took on a more battle-ready look. It's more hardened, not as friendly looking as the Bulbasaur. It took a more blue tint to the skin of it. And the weight of this plant, since it did grow bigger, now prevents Ivysaur from standing on its hind legs and forces its legs to grow sturdy. So it can no longer stand on two feet like it could when it was Bulbasaur. It was slowly, slowly becoming more four feet like landlocked. When its flower is ready to bloom, it gives off a strong, sweet smelling aroma and starts swelling. Ivysaur will start spending more time in the sunlight in preparation for evolving to Venusaur. So you eat that Bulbasaur spent more time in sunlight? Well, Ivysaur spends 10 times the amount of sun. Exposure to sunlight adds to the strength of the Ivysaur and its plant. So the sweet aroma that comes from the bud may lure other Pokemon that like the sweet smell of flowers, such as the bug Pokemon. But there are not that many Ivysaurs in the wild, as most Bulbasaurs are taken by trainers, and the few Bulbasaurs that are roaming around in the forest are not really evolving that fast. The few that do live freely appear in forests, jungles, and plains among their fellow Bulbasaurs and the rare Venusaur. So Ivysaur starts looking more and more like a reptile or dinosaur as it evolves. Specifically like the mammal-like Decinodonts. They look very similar to Bulbasaur and Ivysaur, but Ivysaur does still share some commonalities with frogs or toads, and also mammals, but the, the wide mouth, wide set eyes, washed skin, and quadruped-like movements are all similar to the common toad, and Ivysaur's ears do have hollow insides, indicating that they are ears, not glands, as seen in many species of frogs and toads. But I have to say, it is moving more towards the mammal reptile side as it evolves. So the name Ivysaur comes from a combination of ivy, which is a kind of plant, and still the Greek sore, meaning lizard, or it could possibly come from dinosaur. So one reason a trainer might pick Bulbasaur as their starter is because it evolves at level 16, and then Ivysaur evolves at level 32, which is earlier than the other starters that evolve at level 36. That's one reason to choose a grass Pokemon, because they usually evolve earlier than usual. But Ivysaur does stay a grass poison type, it does not change typing as some of the other starters do. Even though Ivysaur is one of the more forgettable middle evolutions, it still has a very powerful evolution to come, and that is Venusaur, which we'll be talking about next. But if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.